I have a black mamba here, uh, the longest venomous snake that we have in Africa. Nowadays we talk of a maximum length of 3,8 meters, but there are historical records of up to 4.5 meters. It has a very, very potent neurotoxic venom, acts very quickly, and uh, there are records of people dying in less than half an hour after a black mamba bite. That's exceptional. Usually it'll take uh, one to eight hours in a serious bite if the patient is not treated promptly. Not black in color, light or dark gray. Uh, some individuals are more of an olivey brown color. And then occasionally we get black mamas that have some barring down the sides. These snakes feed on warm-blooded prey. So they prefer rodents, tree squirrels, dussies. They might take birds, but we seldom see them uh, taking uh, other prey like uh, lizards or even snakes. Uh, just about unheard of for black mamas to take snakes. Reproduction, uh, around uh, 8 to 16, 17 eggs at a time. Uh, the babies hatch in about two months and uh, they measure around 40 to 60 centimeters in length. It's of course a, a total myth that juvenile snakes are more dangerous than the adults because they can't control their venom. There's no truth to that. But baby snakes by and large have venom that is very similar to that of the adults, but they obviously have a much smaller venom yield than the adults do. Lots and lots of myths about black mamas. Uh, black mamas chasing men on horseback. Black mamas lifting 80% of their bodies off the ground. Uh, biting on the top of uh, off-road vehicles. Uh, there's no snake that can lift that much of its body off the ground. Those are all just stories. And of course, the aggressiveness of the black mamba. Very, very overrated. To give you an idea, the two or three snake removers in the greater Durban area uh, removed over 200 black mambas this past season. Uh, yet there wasn't a single black mamba bite. So these snakes are being removed from people's houses, from their gardens, um, yet uh, no bites at all. With neurotoxic venoms, it's very, very important that you get the patient to a hospital so that they can be ventilated if it's necessary. As for antivenom, again, highly effective if given early, but bear in mind that uh, in snake bites in general, nine out of 10 snake bite victims don't need antivenom and they don't get it purely because it's not necessary.